Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for um, your Valentine's Day bonus and it's going to be for the rest of the month of February. So happy Valentine's Day Capricorn. Um, I hope you are ah, enjoying your day. But okay, so it's like mm, you should be celebrating but you're not because you have something going on that's keeping you chained and bound. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's uh, your ego. Maybe it's... But it's, it's more like... Uh, the devil is more about, like, physical things or... It, I mean, not really. I guess it's not. I guess it's just anything that makes you feel like you are bound and chained to... I mean, I guess it would be earthly things. It's like the, the devil is you, basically, Capricorn. The devil is Capricorn. This is the devil. You're the, always the scapegoat for people. You're always this. So if anyone knows this energy, it's, it's you guys. Because it's literally your card. Um, where other people will break under this immense pressure, you guys will stand like little goats and put your hooks in the dirt and like be s stable you guys will be stability for people but right now you can't you are cracking under some pressure um so where do you need to take this blindfold off and look clearly at a situation and decide to not take either of these two paths to make your own path to put your little hooves in the, a new fucking way that you decide for yourself. Why do you have to go this way or this way? There's all kinds of ways you can go. You can pick any way you motherfucking want to. If the path isn't clear for you, clear your own fucking path. Make your own path. And you know this. And you're... You're at your rock bottom. You're at your breaking point. You're at this point where you mentally cannot take any more pressure from either other people or the pressure you put on yourself or you can't be people's scapegoat anymore. You can't be people's stability. It's like there's this opportunity that's being handed to you now and maybe um you're still sore from like fighting with whatever has been going on. It could be a family issue. It could be friends. It could be a lover. It could be um, at work thinking about this. This is something in your mind with that ten of swords. So this thing that has you bound is clearly a decision that you have to make. And it could be with a group of people like your family or your friends. Somebody, somebody is, that usually is emotionally fulfilling but it now has you, it might have turned into your weakness. It might be your ball and chain. So where is this ball and chain like hurting you? It, you're feeling beat up right now. And it's like you've been trying to move forward, but it's like the land has been plowed. Like what are you still plowing? What are you still digging up? Like the, it's already been dug. You've already done the work. So... I'm feeling like this is a situation where you need to move on. Like there's been this ace of there's this ace of pentacles and this nine of wands, which the nine of wands is upright. So you've been beaten up, but it's okay. You're feeling better. The ten of swords energy has now gone to the nine of wands energy and <clears throat> Okay, so you have two of pentacles, I mean pentacles, two of wands upside down. So it's like, <clears throat> oh, with the death card. So it's like, you know what you're missing. You know what choice you want to make. And all you need now is to just let the, whatever this is that's, hurting you or obstructing you, die. And I mean, it's 5, 5, 5 a.m. right now while I record this video. 
So vibes are all about change. Vibes are all about um, t making a new way. They're all about um, seeing things clearly, judging yourself pro properly. <laughs> Um, as I say that the judgment card falls out, how weird. Um, so you have the judgment card with the eight of swords. Stop keeping yourself trapped in your mind and judge yourself clearly. Judge the people around you clearly. Are these people helping you or hurting you? Where? What do you want to go get that you haven't got yet? Because this guy knows what he wants. He knows that, like, he has something missing. He has the whole world, but something is missing. What is that thing for you? Mm -hmm. Where does this opportunity lie? Where is your Ace of Pentacles? It's time to leave your garden, to leave your comfort zone, to go on this adventure, to get out of your fucking head and take the new job, take the new opportunity, take the new... Whatever, do the new thing. Forget whoever it is that's holding you back. Your lover, your mother, your brother, your family, your friends, your teachers, your city you're in. Maybe it's your fucking whole entire town. Fuck them and go. Like, move. Oops. Oop. Okay. So, it's a two of pinnacles with the seven of... Um, pinnacles. So, ooh. so you're juggling two things. You're looking at your crops. You're looking at whatever you've done at work. You're looking at um, whatever you put a lot of effort into recently. You're looking on it, and then, like, you're seeing your harvest appear now. You're seeing the fruits of your labor appear now. But you're still up in the air with your choices. So for me, this is coming through as like something on this physical realm um, you've been working on, right? And now that your crops are finally here and these new opportunities are coming in, you're a little bit scared. Not necessarily scared, but you don't necessarily know which one to pick and you're juggling the two. I think maybe it might be because you met somebody or maybe you're trying to, or this could be you will meet somebody. Like, this is the soulmate card. So you might be meeting somebody, but this person is in that next place. They're in that new city. They're in that new job. They're in this new opportunity. This is a soulmate card. This is karmic um, love. Like, but you need a rest. And... You need to, like, the Ace of Wands is like, um, with the Four of Swords is like, emotionally, you have this opportunity, but where you should be resting and thinking on this opportunity that's been given to you, this holy grail almost and it could be with a soulmate May or maybe this is this ace of cups is something you thought was your soulmate but this new soulmate is lying at this next turn this next place this next whatever and it's 6 a.m now so it's like okay i don't know why it's just popping on me but it's like six are harmony double zeros are like this god energy or double zero is like an ovum, like an egg, like splitting, you know what I'm saying, to like birth something new, like, right, and it's calling you to like bring this new thing forward, bring this new creation, bring this new project, bring this new um, love to life, oh wow, okay, so you have a ace of wands with the moon which fell over the judgment card and this eight of swords, so, once you judge yourself and look at yourself clearly, once you go into this moon energy, this shadow, this dark realm um, of yourself, there will be an opportunity presented to you. 
Um, but the shadow self isn't always our worst self. Sometimes it's our best self. Sometimes it's the self you left in the dark when you was a child because we have this big coat on us covering us and where it's like, take off your mask, take off your coat, show people who you are, bury your soul, bury your heart. And this one fell right underneath the two of wands. Like, the tower's been tumbling down for a while. You've been tearing your walls down and looking at who you are as a person. You've been, this structure's already been broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you have this Queen of Swords and this Nine of Cups, which fell over top of this Ace of Pentacles. So, it also, it, yeah, it also fell over, it felt like in the middle of this Ace of Pentacles, the Devil reversed, the Three of Cups reversed, and this Ten of Swords reversed, so, these two and these two. So, which to me is saying, like, once you step, <clears throat> it's like, once you step out of your comfort zone, out of this garden, and you take this little journey and you let this thing go whether it be an addiction a person some shit you got going on with your mind whatever it's going to bring you happiness it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment and this guy sits alone you know what i'm saying he's alone and he's happy he has cups to share if he wants to he took his journey and has is crowned in clarity and is nurturing like the queen of cups nurtures her own mind she nurtures her own um being and and i mean this could even be a what's what's a swords is air right air <laughs> so gemini libra or a um a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, if you're dealing with one of those signs, that might be the key to your happiness. But more, I think, your nurturing of your own mind, your nurturing uh, of your divine feminine inside yourself is really what's going to bring you fulfillment right now. I don't think this reading has... I mean, well, you do have the soulmate card here. So... But I think this for this is it, it's more it's more about connecting with your inner child, okay? So that's just what I'm feeling from this. But connecting with what you are passionate about, and I also I made a video about this earlier actually, so it's kind of strange. I'm picking up those vibes a lot today, that energy a lot today. So um, I'll add the video to the end of this one. If you guys want to click the link, it's from my other channel. Um, where I talk about more, like, personal things and, like, issues and, like, things that I'm going through, but I'll add that to the end of it. Um, but you guys should check that out. Um, let me clarify a little bit more, um, on this. Oh, wow. So, the Queen of Cups with the world. So, someone who who this could be this could be a you could be dealing with a cancer um pisces or scorpio or it could just be yourself um the queen of cups could be yourself mm. but it fell like for, i put it over this queen of swords so it's like these two it might be linking up in a partnership with your girlfriends with um women that are very strong, that women that are in their power. Um, and you have the world here. So this bitch dances naked. She's in her like a fullness of who she is. She's dancing to the beat of her own drum. She can't hear the haters because she has her fucking wreath around her. Like she's not on the outside. She's in the middle. She's inside her own world. She does not give a fuck. She took off her coat. She took off her this shield that she you know what i'm saying it's like she took off this 
clothes and anything that she's been hiding from the world and was like, look, psh, this is me. This is my heart. This is my soul. This is who I am. This is my project. This is my, what I've been working on. This is what I want. So here's me. How, what do you guys think? Type shit. Like that's the energy she's on. And it's like, the divine has handed you a fucking opportunity and you're sitting here like, but take the fucking cup, dude. <laughs> Because it's going to make you happy. It's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. Look at this. It's going to be in alignment with who you are. It might not be as big as you thought it was. But create anyway. Do things anyway. Even if the... You can't worry about what the outcome is. You have to worry about how you feel about something. Regardless of what anybody else thinks. How did this shit make you feel? How did your project, your career, your... Whatever you've been working on, your relationship, your, um, whatever, whatever. And I don't, I don't mean to say relationship because I should say, like, your relationship with yourself and the things that you love to do. It might be a smaller success than you thought, but create anyway. Do that anyway. Because the lover's card is upside down here. So, I don't think it has to do with anybody else. I think it has to do with your work and creating something beautiful for the world right now but you're not embodying your divine feminine your empress you're not in your compassionate loving nurturing energy you're not you know what i'm saying it's like you're having some issue with the divine feminine right now and the divine feminine is like your womanly motherly energy that we have in us all it's not a feminine thing or a masculine thing it's more like an energy thing because your ten of pentacles is upside down which it doesn't take much to turn that around as soon as you move forward with full fury and fire and say like fuck it this is me this is who i am i have a message and i have to deliver it now and you get over your ego and get over maybe whatever whatever these other people are saying to you, whatever these other people are talking, whatever these other people are like, or it could be you battling yourself in your mind. No, but the ones are, it's other people because ones are not swords. Swords are the mind, ones are like desires, passions, like getting the ball on the road about shit that's like creative or things that you want. So when you turn this swords, king of swords around and you go into your hermit energy and realize that you carry the light, that everything you need is inside you, then you'll be all right. But this, uh, this king of swords could be somebody else though. It could be somebody you're dealing with whom you need to let go of, or it could be yourself um, dealing with some shit in your mind. But if it's somebody else, it could be your father, it could be... Um, Anyone who is, um, swords are air. So, Gemini, Libra, um, Gemini, Libra, and, um, Aquarius. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And remember, we had this Queen of Swords over here, too, earlier. So, your Queen, queen of Swords is upright, but your King of Swords is reversed. So, <clears throat> The king of swords is like, he's the king of the castle. So he should be a just and fair leader that is able to analyze and clearly see a situation for what it is. And right now he just can't see it. So this might be your ball and chain holding you back from everything you want. Um, this might be, you know what I'm saying? You have all the, the swords is where you've been, there's two ways. Excuse me. You had two ways to go, and like I said, it's about making your own path. But the hermit says you're holding the light. You know, you know how to light the way, but look inside yourself for your answers. Um, yeah, all those cards I just pulled, like real, like this shit, like these three, four, all of these. 
That's crazy. And this one, like you have every. And this one, like you have every dope card in this whole deck. It's just when you get and embody this spiritual death, this spiritual um, like because you did have the death card and the devil. So something inside you needs to die, basically. Something around you needs to die. Something needs to be let go of. You need to move forward into this new energy and bring this new thing to fruition. Birth this new thing into existence, whatever that is. So, um, yeah. Uh, love you, Capricorn. And I will see you guys in March. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know if it resonates by commenting below. Check out some of my other videos. And like I said, I'm going to put the link to this video I made earlier on my other channel to um because i think it resonates with you guys but um yeah thanks for watching capricorn love you bye